Hi, I'm Sebastian Chavez. Welcome to this quick video to help you explain latent tuberculosis infection, or latent TB, to your patients. I'm here with Dr. Shireen Kotrek, who's an infectious disease physician. Dr. Kotrek, thank you for joining us. Thanks, Sebastian. It's great to be here. So around the world, outside of North America specifically, many people receive a tuberculosis vaccination called BCG during childhood. Um, what if a patient in your care who has received the BCG vaccination doesn't believe that she can get TB disease? I tell patients the BCG vaccine is not completely effective and it doesn't protect you for life. BCG is actually most effective in protecting young children against the more severe forms of TB disease. Now what if there's a child who's received the BCG vaccination and his parent insists that his positive TB test result is actually a false positive? Sometimes the BCG vaccine can cause a false positive with a TB skin test, but not with a blood test. And children can receive the blood test. Whether or not your child has received BCG, a positive blood test means that TB infection is likely. If the blood test is positive and we rule out active disease, we should really consider treating latent TB in your child. Great, well, Dr. Kotrick, thank you so much for sharing that information with us. Thank you, Sebastian. So around the world, millions of people receive the BCG vaccination and it offers only limited protection. Explain to your patients that a TB skin test can be a false positive with the BCG vaccination, but a TB blood test that's positive usually indicates TB infection even if you've had the BCG. Thanks for watching.